What's going on, YouTube? Got an autograph mail day recap video from Monday, March 31st. Uh, got a couple purchases in, no TTMs in the past couple days. Uh, but I got a couple purchases and then a big, I got a lot of autographs this weekend down at the WWE NXT show. Uh, we'll start with the purchases. Um, I'm working on a project right now, being a huge Nationals fan, that I wanted to get a certain, I have a ticket from their first ever game, uh, April 4th, 2005, um, up in Philadelphia, and I wanted to get you know, a certified autograph card of er all nine members of the starting roster that night, or that day, it was a day game, uh, and frame it with the ticket. I think that would look pretty cool. Like I have cards signed by all of them from getting an IP, but I wanted a certified card. I don't know why. So I got a few of those in. I bought one of everybody. And I got a Jose Guillen, outfielder. Termel Sledge, outfield. Second baseman, Jose Vidro. First baseman, Nick Johnson. And shortstop, Christian Guzman. So hopefully the rest of them come in pretty soon. The other two purchases I got were both baseballs. Uh, the first one is being here in Florida. I've heard this guy is super nice and will sign anything. But the few times I've tried to get him, he wouldn't sign. So I just bought one on eBay. Is uh, Tampa Bay Rays uh, outfielder Will Myers. I got it on eBay for pretty much the price of the ball, so I couldn't pass that up. And then the other ball I got it was from my Hall of Fame collection. Uh, comes with JSA authentication. It's Willie Stargell with the Hall of Fame 88 inscription. I didn't see too many of those with the inscription on eBay, so I don't know if he never did that, or if it, but I was happy to add that to the collection. And then this weekend, I went to the, the uh, NXT show uh, here in Stark, Florida, which if you're not familiar with Florida, Stark is literally the middle of nowhere, so it was a light crowd. I like shows like that because you're more personable with the performers. They got some good stuff. The only photo I got signed was an 11 by 14 by uh, Tyler Breeze. I got him signed it to Robert Tyler Breeze. But I love this photo, and I had to get it signed because it's a perfectly timed photo. See this kid right here? That's me. So I definitely wanted to add that to the collection. The perks of having great seats. And then the main thing I focused on getting signed was – the 2014 um, Topps WWE set just came out a few weeks ago, and there's 20 cards in there from of NXT superstars. So I wanted to get those signed, and they all loved it. For many of them, it was their first time seeing their card. And this is just the stuff I got for myself. I got tons signed for other people, but those have already been sent out. I got... Current NXT champion, Adrian Neville, on two. Danny Birch, on one. Baron Corbin, on two. Uh, yeah, my favorite, Bo Dallas, on his uh, WWE rookie card. But then I also had this card for him to sign a few years ago, back before he was known as Bo Dallas. He was known as Bo Rotundo, back when it was FCW, Florida Championship Wrestling. And I found one of his cards on eBay from his Bo Rotundo days. Those are super rare, and he was just excited to see that I had one. So he signed it, Bo Rotundo. I was definitely happy to add that to the collection. They got C.J. Parker on two, and Corey Graves on two.
in the artist formerly known as Leo Kruger on two. He has now been repackaged and he's known as Adam Rose. Tyler Breeze signed two. NXT Diva Bailey signed too. She was super nice. She always is. Then Diva Sasha Banks signed two of her cards. But then even better than that, on eBay a few weeks ago, I found um, one of the printing plates used to make her card. So I picked that up and got her to sign that. And the blue printing plate signed in blue looked really looks really good. I was definitely happy to add that one. And then and the last one I got in NXT was <clears throat> women's champion Paige. And she signed two for me. But this is the way I always put my cards in, especially for baseball season. It's just easier. And she's the first person I've ever had sign the actual page. No pun intended. Um, but she signed the page, and then I asked her to sign the cards. And she was like, oh, okay. So that was interesting. But all in all, it was a great show. Uh, definitely got a lot of autographs. If any of y'all have any of the NXT cards and want them signed, just message me and send them down here to Florida to me, and I'll get them signed for you. Uh, the NXT guys are super nice, and it won't be a problem. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.